Well, friends, subscribers, and nice strangers, what's up? The bearded picker looking down on you. <laughs> so today, we haven't done this video in, in probably a month. I'm stacked up way behind. It is time to deal with Amazon returns. What did the bearded picker get back from the wonderful customers of Amazon? Hey, <laughs> what? Stay tuned. Bye. All right, we're getting fancy here. Got okay, cameras going. Two ways, make sure y'all can see this. So you can see the big stack over here. Number one. <laughs> I recall this. Jump beautiful. That was going on on eBay. That's a win. Some of this stuff is stuff I recall. I do avoid long-term storage fees. Christmas lights. New never open. Awesome. That's a win. China. Oops, Johnny ordered this one, sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised she hadn't been looking for it. <laughs> Alright. You win some, you lose some, right? <laughs> that was uh I'm just gonna sneak that in the cabinet and hope she didn't notice it is just so it shows up. Alright. Another one. Lights. These are a return. The that listing got changed. They were supposed to be white lights and they got changed to green lights. And so of course I got a customer complaint. That doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> Carton clips. You know how we order so much junk and I've got a lot of those laying around. I'm like, where did those come from? Just goes to show you, pay more attention to what comes from Amazon. <laughs> All right. This one, see, even, even happens to the bearded picker. I get restricted on Peppa Pig as between the time I sent it in and the time it got there. So Peppa Pig is going to eBay as a recall. I think this is the other one. There was two of them. Y'all see all these nice, wonderful air pillows I'm getting? All right. So here's the thing about Amazon. This was in their warehouse. You see where they tore it, picking it up? Um, and then they just sent that to a customer and they had complain. Uh, how do you keep Amazon from tearing up your stuff? Don't you love it when somebody, they're going to open lights by going in the bottom. And those are actually a different kind of the same ones. Those are actually the green ones. Next up. Really 
pair of the slippers. They look good though. They're fine. They're just gonna go back. I found that through the years I've sold these slippers, I found that they run small, so that's not surprised me that I got a return on this. Looks like a DVD. Oh look, some more junk beautiful. Is it, is it a wonder I didn't sell these three DVDs? This is the one. Y'all like this one. <laughs> it's a good thing they didn't get destroyed, huh? Um, of all the Nike stuff, this is the only one I was restricted in. It got restricted after I sent it in. Oh, I guess when I start working out and become buff, I have some footbands. Anyone care to guess? Anyone? We're gonna check those out in a few minutes too. I swear to you. I did not mess those up. Alright. Look at this one now. Pokemon, this is how they return. This that's how they got into it. Next up, these guys. Awesome. Look at back. Somebody ordered two and then returned them, so they never open them, they never do anything, so. Because those guys are 42 50 pieces. When so far, not so bad. They destroyed the Pokemon. Line. They destroyed this guy. One of the boxes of lights they destroyed. But other than that, everything's been new. So just returns are not always always negative. A lot of this stuff goes back. Does anyone need the? McDonald's. Complete Trans McGee novels. Uh, it, it was sold and that's how you know it's a return. It's got a return label. Um, how did that label? Did y'all see that? <laughs> Don't you like how the other label? How dare Johnny interrupt my filming? The label's right there. Oh, it's kind of weird. That's what I recall, but you can see what happens to how that's that's what Amazon's doing right there. I'll sell these on eBay. I don't know what exactly was. What Aaron's deal was, but now that he has been up like that, uh, like, I'll describe that accurately and put him on. Put him on eBay. This one I thought was something. Like that. was already hot, It's a whole lot of lights. I'm my own worst enemy. On this, on this section of who was the worst on returns today? The very bigger. You wouldn't have got nearly as many packages old Beardy if you uh, didn't get like
good boxes. I always keep the little skinny ones because you can never find them. The skinny boxes. I don't think there's a white one. Spoke to his name. All right, so what would I tell you? Check your items, check your listings, make sure you've got these on the right things. I'm going to take the heat, the label off of one of those and see if it was truly me that messed up or at the customer. Um, I had one customer complain that the light should have been green, not white. And so instead of arguing and instead of doing anything else, I gave the lady a refund. She she went ahead and sent them back to Amazon anyway, and then I um I pulled them all just to make sure that if I screwed up. So that's why I got them all back. If if you have a if you, if you have a listing that uh, you have more than a couple issues with, pull all your inventory back, no matter how much it is. You can see how many lights I got back. I got looks like twenty. You can always send them back again. That fifty cents per box, you know, a couple dollars maybe is what it cost me to get them back. It is you are much much safer to get them back than you are to have a, you know, another customer turn on the same listing because Amazon tracks tracks your returns by listing. I looked that up today, and this was my worst performing listing with these lights. So I'm gonna go check them out, make sure, see who was wrong, me or the customer. In the end, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna. Make sure they're correct, and all the ones that have got good boxes, I'll send back. All the ones that are not great, um, I'll list accurately on eBay. So that's the returns for the day. Hope you've enjoyed the wonderful world of bearded picker returns. Yeah, and there's another one over there. To, let's look over over the light. Those two boxes right there are also returns, but but I know where they are. Well, I look like some kind of ghost. Those are um, big dolls that. Uh, got restricted on after I sent them in so to so see it things happen to even experienced sellers people like me who can sell a lot of things you know a lot of new people you know like to say oh my god I can't believe I got restricted or restricted it happens to experienced sellers too you just you just deal with it and move on it's just it's just inventory you sell it on another platform or if you're gone if you're a person to return stuff I'm not one I don't return items so I will sell them on another platform I'll donate them I'll do whatever write them off all right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this comical look at my returns and how bad I screwed up on lights. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share. More Beard Picker Adventures coming at you. Roll Tide.